Good morning. Uh, I was just amusing myself there because uh, people say, oh, you've got a sense of humour, haven't you? And I say, yes, God has a sense of humour. He gave me a mirror. Or in this case, uh, the, the, the webcam where I watched the, um, what they call it, the Wheel of Doom or whatever going around. And uh, yeah, it just made me laugh. Uh, welcome to our worship this morning on this, the 12th of May. It's Tuesday morning. I know that because the bin men have just gone by, uh, for whom we are very, very grateful. And uh, today in the Church of England's calendar of prayer, we commemorate uh, Gregory Dix, who's a great scholar uh, and only died in 1952. Let's give thanks to God for all the blessings of this new day. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 140. Oh, no, it's not. Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands, and their words to the ends of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the end of the heavens, and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandments of the Lord are pure and give light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired of they than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often they offend? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And the second psalm set for today is the first part of Psalm 147. Hallelujah. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. Who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. Who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse. No delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The reading today is from Luke chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. 
Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He had got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your cat nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long and have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signalled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Simon, Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that story from the Bible reminds us of Simon Peter, who went on to uh, first deny Christ, but then to be the rock on which Jesus built his church and using the same skills that he already had as a fisherman. Lots to think about there today. Let's pray together now giving thanks to God for his love and mercy and praying for all those in need. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings of this life and for the promise of life eternal which you give us in Jesus Christ. We pray for ourselves, for our loved ones and for those in need today. Father, we pray this week for the work of Christian aid. We give thanks for the generosity of so many people who give and support their work. We pray for their partner organisations around the world. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus crisis. And Father, we pray for those preparing to return to work in this country. We pray for wisdom and grace. Employers and employees. We pray that we may work together for the common good. And Father, we give you thanks for those who have passed beyond this life into your eternal love and care. Grant us, we pray, with all the faithful departed, a share in your eternal kingdom. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen.
thanks for joining us this morning. I uh, hope you have uh, a great day. Might rain. Who cares? Uh, we're here. God bless you. Bye now.